today we are going to be talking about my dog. I will be um, posting pictures of him on here and also some like little video clips, like highlighted videos of since he was little, a little puppy, to his big ass right now. So um, this is my dog Zero. This is just a quick little picture of him. Um, he is an Australian cattle dog and he is about, he's gonna be eight years old this year, in July. And um, yeah, so that's Zero. And let's tell you a little bit about him. Okay, so Zero's breed. Let's talk about that first. His breed is Australian Cattle Dog, and what an Australian Cattle Dog is mixed with, he's mixed with half Border Collie and a half Queensland Healer, which makes an Australian Cattle Dog, which is Zero. Um, unfortunately, we don't own a farm, and <laughs> he lives with us inside a home, and he has a he has a pretty big backyard. Well, it's very spacious. Um, so he run, runs around every day and he's barking and having a, the time of his life. He sleeps inside with me. He sleeps in my bed with me. Um, he is my dog. He's been my dog since I was in the eighth grade. And I basically raised him into who he is today. So let's go, let's fast forward all the way back to 2012. I was just a little child in the eighth grade. I had full braces, bulky black glasses. I was fabulous. I was stunning. So this is the documentary of Zero. I mean, I remember the day that I got him. I was outside when we used to have grass in our front yard. We don't have grass in the front yard. But um, I was outside on the lawn and my friend brought over all of her puppies. She brought over like five of them. They all look like Zero, but they were all a different color. One was black, one was tan, one was white, one was like spotted and the other one was um I oh know I think there was just four there was just four but anyways so I'm sitting there and I'm like oh my god I already want I want the white one because the white one was the one that I saw on her pictures when they were first born and he was the only white one and he was just all white and he had a little black nose and little black ears here's another picture of zero when he was a baby so that's zero when he was a child and he was like, I don't know, he was like, they all had tails except for him. He was the only white one. Like, I just wanted to get him because I felt like he was like the outsider. There was no other colors on him. Like all the other dogs had at least two to three colors, but he only had one color. It was white, well he had white and black, but the black was very faint. It was on his nose and on his ears. When Zero was about one year old, he was diagnosed with mange. And what mange is, if you guys don't really know, it's a really, it could be deadly. It's a it's a dangerous skin disease for dogs, and it's mostly in country dogs because of all the stuff out there. Your dog just can't get mange like from another dog, and so his mom had it, and so she passed it on down to him. And what mange does is it kind of eats away your skin. They're like little baby termites, and they eat away your skin, and you, the dogs start losing fur, and then you start smelling it because what they do is they create these little like warts on them kind of and they're like little they're pests like warts it's disgusting I didn't really notice it until like about a month after I think he had it now that I think about it because he was always crying and like I looked at the symptoms literally like after I realized all the symptoms um <laughs> so he was crying didn't want to play as much he went into like a really hard depression um he smelled really really bad and it was disgusting like, I mean, I obviously, like, took him a bath. I took him a bath, I think, like, two to three times a week because I was like, oh my gosh, it's, he smells disgusting and I don't know what's going on. And when I started noticing his hair being lost, I noticed it under, on his arm, so I'm like, oh, he's probably biting himself. And he was. He would, like, nod it because it would itch him, but then he his fur would come off, too. Like, if we were to scratch him, his fur would come off a little bit. Not, like, drastically, but, you know. And then I started noticing it on the tip of his nose, and I'm like, okay, well, how the hell is he reaching the tip of his nose? That doesn't look right. So we took him to the vet, they did a skin test on him, and he has mange. And so, poor thing, it was rough for him. They gave him a shot, and they said that that would kind of, like, soothe all of the open wounds, and, like, it won't itch. Kind of like when you have hives, and you take a Benadryl, and it just kind of instantly, boom, takes off all the relief off them. 
it's like that. So we put him on like this really strict medication plan, which was three pills a day. He had to um, swallow them and he had to have like this fluid in his food twice a day, in the morning and at the night. So then we had to wash him twice a week with like the special medicated shampoo. And so we did that for about two months and he's fine again. Mange was gone, his fur came back healthy and he didn't have any of the bumps anymore. He was solid and he was ready to play. A lot of people ask me why I haven't gotten him neutered. It's because this poor dog has been through like a lot. <laughs> and I don't want to take his balls away from him. Because he's gone through like, well he's gone through the mange, he's gotten hit by a car. Like I remember one time he like ran out when we weren't home. He broke the freaking fence and ran out and he got hit by a car. And I noticed because I saw like the grid of the car on his side, he wasn't like hurt hurt, but you could tell that he was sore and no bones were broken, he was fine. But he's just, he's a little bit of a dumbass sometimes. Or he got <laughs> This is one of my favorite stories to tell. Um, it's really sad, but when he was little, he got squished by our garage. It's like about six months old, so he was getting big. He was like about this big go inside and well I didn't even go inside yet we went through the garage and I put him down right in front of the door and usually when I put him down I open the door and he runs in so I put him down open the door and I press the button to close the garage and what does he do he runs in and bolts back the other way I was like son of a bitch and so I'm like I chase after him not thinking oh maybe you should stop the garage from closing so I ran after him and it's hard to get in the get like out of the garage because there's two cars in there we have both cars that are parked in there and so he ran down the middle and the garage was already like almost like more than halfway closed and then I didn't see him because he was right behind one of the cars and I just heard a loud BOOM and I was like what the fuck was that and I'm like zero 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 like calling his name and I just start hearing him like whimper he's like meh, 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 like whimpering and I look over and he's literally like underneath like so say this is the garage he's like right here and his little legs are on one side and his arms and head are on the other side and he's just kicking everything and he's crying and it was so scary so I ran back inside and I'm like zero just got squished by the garage oh my god like freaking out I didn't want to press the button because I didn't know if it was gonna come back up or keep trying to go down and I ran outside and my dad's friend had just gotten home gotten to our house and so he comes out of the car when I'm like running outside and he lifts up my garage and snaps the spring <laughs> all dramatically like the fucking Hulk and I pick up zero and poor thing I've never been so scared in my life he had a t his tongue was hanging out he was like still breathing and then he was like peeing and pooping at the same time so this garage literally squished the shit out of him okay and I was like I was like holding him like this I, remember. I was like oh my god what's going on I'm like are we okay and he was fine and he was able to walk but he was like limping like he was he looked like he was like gonna die and so I was like really scared and he was playing again and he was like all happy but he was still sore so I just let him like sleep for like about five hours and he was fine he was just a little sore like the following week but throughout all these years Zero has really proven himself as a person like a lot of people think like why do you call your dog a person he's an animal he's a pet and I'm like no he's a fucking person because this bitch literally has the characteristics of me or as just a regular bitch ass human because he's sassy he's very disrespectful he has no consideration for you like whenever you're trying to yell at him he's like or scold him he's like you know I'm just gonna turn the other way and act like you don't see me. He'll literally like look at me while I'm like scolding him and then he like gets up and stays in the same spot but turns his whole body to the other direction doesn't look at me. My dog is a bitch. He's a bitch. Just like me. He's always horny. My poor dog is always horny and I know that a lot of people say that's because I haven't cut his balls off which is probably true. It's also probably because he doesn't he's never had any 
female interaction with any other female dogs. We've only had boy dogs. The only female dog that he has ever interacted with was Missy. And she was like, a, she was old as hell when he was a baby. She died when he was a baby. Many of you guys have probably seen this video of him. Um, all social media. It was everywhere. It exploded. Here's the video clip. Look. Look at me. Zero. filmed on the 4th of July with me and my best friend Alexis and I was like film this so we can do the what the fluff challenge you know it's been going around everywhere and everybody and their fucking mother is doing it so let's do it and see how my dog reacts to it he reacted the wrong way <laughs> so here are some videos of zero being zero okay enjoy <laughs> <laughs> Zero is really trying to fit his big ass right here. Excuse me, like, he like totally just like pushed me over, look. Zero. Zero. You know damn well you're too big to sit right there. Look at the small ass little space. Zero. Hmm. I don't know. Cause what? <laughs> he literally just fell asleep like this. <laughs> He's like all sprawled out too. Listen. Why do you look at me like a human? <laughs> Ew. Zero. Zero. <laughs> basically it thank you guys for watching my video of my dog zero he is such a little character and he's honestly hilarious I just love my dog so much um, so yeah remember um, follow my Instagram page and be as active as possible if I can get my Instagram to about 2,000 followers we'll start up with that it's about it's at 14, 1500 followers. If I get it to 2000, let's make something happen. Okay? Let's do like a giveaway or something. Because I do do giveaways on my makeup page. If you guys don't know my makeup page, this is my makeup page as well. 
schedule me for anything you want okay um so yeah have a fabulous day thank you guys so much for watching and go tell your dogs that you love them all right bye